Hello guys, so this is a bit of an uh, this video is a bit overdue so I'm going to show you all the gears, my gears uh, that, that I wear for my rides uh, let's start with the helmet so as you can see I have four helmets and the usual thing that people say is how come you have so many helmets when you have, you have only one head true, but each helmet has a purpose and let's go through each and the each of them so this is my LS2 CR1 carbon helmet so this is pretty nice because uh, the first time I bought this because I wanted a carbon helmet because Ross's uh, Pista GP project was uh, really nice and I wanted I wanted to buy that one fortunately it didn't have my size so I didn't buy it and I got this cheaper one instead I think I got this for for about um, 200 plus 250 dollars here in the Philippines and so this is just carbon and then I always wanted some Red Bull stickers unfortunately there is no helmet that has Red Bull on it because they only do that for uh, the riders that they sponsor so I made these stickers myself well I I, I, I got one from the internet place it in the right size and then ask a sticker shop to do it for me and then I, I stick everything in there so as you can see Red Bull here this one's new because I recently got a Ducati I was riding this for my KTM and this is also my GoPro and at the back you can see Red Bull CR1 FF396 that's the model KTM Racing and the mandatory sticker that we should have here dark visor this is a very nice very light helmet and then this is the one I use for the city this is my Kberg HyperX um, it is very good for the city because as you can see it's jet type well it has a removable um, removable thing here which I remove and it has a internal sun visor which is optically correct so that's awesome then this one is just is uh, we call hard head helmet as you can see it has that retro look to it very nice helmet not as comfortable as all my other branded helmets but this one's pretty alright I bought this because I wanted a retro helmet to match the BMW R90 so that's why I have it this one well it's orange because it's for my KTM this is an Arai XD4 in Explore Orange color. I got the optional dark visor. Really good, really comfortable. But, well, not really that comfortable for my head. I think something is wrong with my head. Because uh, after long rides, it hurts the left side of my head. Because there's something touching it. So, it hurts sometimes. So, I need to take it off every once in a while. Um, review of the helmets, all of them are noisy for me. I only notice the noise when I start riding my Ducati because that's the only time I hit 130 plus speeds and then yeah there's a lot of wind noise in both of these. But it's alright, not complaining. And then next are my gloves, I have two sets of gloves. These are RS Tai Chi's. Good protection, it's mesh but it has ample hard carbon protections here and also at the bottom of your wrist and the other one is these Dynasty carbon leather gauntlets so these are the most protective but it's a bit hard so it's hard to flex unlike these ones but these are more protective this one is more ideal for long distances um, now the problem I have with gloves is so I have a large, uh, my glove size is large because look at my hands, look at my fingers. I have big hands with short stubby fingers that when I wear my gloves like this, as you can see, the tip usually is empty. <laughs> so that's uh, my problem with gloves. I can't do a size small because it won't fit my hand, my, my palm. But it's a perfect length for my fingers. See, I have stubby fingers. Small guy, 
big knuckles, stubby fingers. And then next we go to my gears. Um, so I have three jackets. Okay, so this is my box armor jacket. As you can see, full armor the front, full armor at the back. And that is awesome. Shoulder, um, extended part of the shoulder, I don't know what's that called. And this is the, uh, the shoulder, the elbow. So not just your elbow is protected, but all your fore also your forearm. You see a cut there, that's from my accident. And it held up really well. That's just a foam. And still usable. Then the other one is my Kamina jacket, sorry for the reflections. Which is good because that's, there's a reflector there and it's working. There's a reflectivity there. So this is a mesh jacket. Armor here. I beefed up the armor by buying the optional chest, hard chest. And the hard back protector for this jacket. So it's pretty alright. And then this is my vented leather jacket. This is an RS Tai Chi. Um, light motion vented something leather. Used it once, so there's a lot of perforation in here. It's perfect for my Asian size, perfect fit. Um, price is all right, and yeah, it's it's red because I bought it specifically for my Ducati. And the other one is I have this chest and back protector from Alpine Stars. This it has foam at the front that you wear uh, inside your jacket. This is pretty alright, um, it's pretty cool, not that hot. And when you wear it just this, if I wear it just this one, it makes me look like a Ninja Turtle because it has this, yep. This back protector, Bionic back protector. Pretty nice, pretty solid, makes you look like a Ninja Turtle. This is my bag. This is a, a belt bag that I wear. It's overdose products, so this is a local here. They make really nice products, quality, Affor not cheap. I call it more like affordable, because cheap is a bad, uh, it's a bad term for it. And last but not the least are my motorcycle boots. So this is a short boot, because I'm too short and I need to be able to tiptoe like that one, so that I don't want anything restraining my feet from flexing forward so these are generic uh, it's a generic brand yeah it's called speed speed bikers the it's pretty all right for for riding but the quality is not that good but for the price eh, it's something it's still good it's still nice I've worn this for more than two years now it's it took some beating but it's still good so Fortunately, I was not able to test how this is in a crash, but it's pretty all right. <laughs> but since I started riding a big bike, I need to up upgrade my gear. So I got these TCX Roadster X waterproof boots, mid-cut. Um, fits really well. This is made in Italy. Um, it does not restrain my feet from flexing because there's still some room there. And I think it was better because I think the uh, underneath here, it's thick. So it gives me more leverage to reach my bike. So it's pretty comfortable for my Ducati, for all my bikes. So that's for my shoes. Okay, so why do I have a lot of gear? Different gears when I can only wear one set when I go into a ride. Well, number one different rides different routes different um weather requires a different kind of gear and also it's part of the motorcycle experience i want to experience um, wearing different kinds of uh, gear so i have leather i have mesh i have this full armor which really makes me uh look awesome so all these protection because i want to know how it feels to uh, to have all those, um, yes, the leather is uncomfortable, but they're the most safe, and, and you look really cool in it. Going into the adventure, being able to wear an awry, so that's that's uh, uh, to know why they say it's the best helmet for crash. I know, but comfort, I'm okay with it. I don't want to test how it is in the crash. All my helmets are 
um, a bit on the premium side, but you can't put a price on your life. It's I mean, my head is priceless. Our head is priceless. I mean, I've spent, I don't know, roughly a few hundred, uh, more than a hundred thousand on all my, all my gears, but just one accident and you're not wearing a gear, you're going to spend more than uh, half a million in the hospital to, to, to fix yourself. And you might get damaged, and that's why we, it's called protection. It's supposed to protect you from things that you don't know is going to happen. And it's it's also a, a mindset. I mean, you're buying this not for the. I mean, you don't wear a helmet because the law requires you. I mean, you're wearing it for your own protection. That's why I have all these gears. And yep, you say it's an investment. An investment we don't want to use. Am I gonna buy more gear? Yes, I am gonna buy more gear. Probably thinking of a leather pants, but yeah, protection is an investment. It's part of the motorcycle lifestyle to wear proper gear, and so yeah, these are all my gears. Cheers, guys.